हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज द यू आई एस वी एज राउटर एक्स द टाइनी राउटर विच गॉट फाइव इथरनेट पोर्ट ऑल फाइव पोर्ट आर वन गिग आउट ऑफ दैट फर्स्ट पोर्ट इज अ पीओई इन एंड द फोर्थ पोर्ट इज अ पीओई आउट which pro uh, gives 24 passive poe so i have been using this router for a long time but this time i will set up this router as a switch and i will show you how you can adopt this router as a switch and then i will uh, show you how you can manage this router in the uisp controller let's get started <laughs> so to get started what you need to do you have to power it on your um, as router x right now i am powering with the adapter which is given inside the box it's a 12 volt 1 ampere so 12 volt dc so i power uh, with that uh, power adapter and i have connected the ethernet cable uh, which is a e0 which is poe in also uh, to my mac mini directly so i can access with the default ip of 1.1 so i have to assign a manual ip to my mac mini from here so i can go to the tcp ip and i can give the ip address in that okay sorry sorry about that uh 192.168.1.25 okay i will give this and i will press okay and apply the changes i will go to the terminal and try to ping of ip of 192.168 1.1 so it's pinging now so we'll just close this and even close this and close this and i will just go on the website and type the ip address okay so you can see here it's giving me the page of this and i will click visit the site so yeah before starting uh, login i will just let you one thing because these edge router x and the previous router edge router light edge router uh, they are running on the stable version of 2.0.9 hot flick 7 but i have updated the release candidate version which is the edge uh, os 3.0 rc and that's why you see the ui difference right now it says edge router x and i have to log in with the default username and password which is ubnd and ubnd so uh, you will see the difference in the U ui in this right now it says uh, router is in a default config do you want to start with the basic setup wizard you should say yes and right now it will show you all setup wizards as you can see basic setups load balancing load balancing 2 switch and wan plus 2 lan wan plus 2 lan 2 so depending on your needs like if you want to set up this as a edge router as a router as a main router you can set up as a basic setup and you can set the port as uh, eth0 uh, which is your uh, main port like the primary wan port e0 you can define that and you can set your internet connection type static triple poe or uh, if you are using any evlan everything but uh, for this video we are doing as a switch because uh, i'm not uh, setting up um, as router as a main router because i'm already using the uxg pro as my main router so uh, it says if you want to set up the management ip so i will just keep on the dscp and uh, if you, uh, this part is a vlan aware where you can set untag and uh, tag vlan where you want to pass that vlan on the switch port e0 e1 so i will just keep this as a disable and i will set the user name i mean the user is already set i will set the password i will change the password from the default so make sure to change the default password okay and then i will apply the changes apply changes and it will say the changes has been applied you have to restart the router so i will just go ahead and restart the router after that while it is restarting i will just go ahead and uh, connect this edge router to my network switch uh, from where i will get internet connection so you will see uh, the configuration of that okay remove the cable and just going it okay i have connected to the network and then i will confirm what ip does it get so it is connected to one of the flex mini switch here so let me confirm the port it's connected to the port 4 so 
I'll wait for it to come back here. We refresh the screen. So basically, this Edge Router X is very tiny and very useful device. I will show you the interface. What else it can do on your network? Because all five ports are one gig port. So I think uh, it, it is getting an IP. So you can see this. It is getting an IP of 10.0.0.125. So I will just go ahead here. I will type that IP and with the new password. I will access one two five. Okay, we can the page here. Send website. So I will use a username as UBNT, which is a similar UBNT. App. Okay, so logging in, and then I will show you. So now you can see uh, I've configured the E zero as a switch. So you can see the switch zero interface here, and it is getting an IP of ten dot zero dot zero dot one two five dot two four. So from here you can go to the config and you can uh, set the address also if you want don't want to set the ds if you can manually define the address on that and from here you can check here uh, all the switch port uh, uh, are configured on all the ethernet port e0 eth1 so if i connect any devices uh, on the uh, on the remaining port of e1 e2 it will get an ip from the management vlan which is set on the switch 0 so if you want to tag or untag any vlan you can just uh, put uh, that untag vlan right now you can see uh, pvid and the vid which uh, on the eth port you want to tag any vlan so this how you can do that and uh, let me go oh this is a ethernet option page from here you can just check here the port e0 it's enabled the link is up with the speed and the port e1 is also uh, down it's enabled but it's down po is not separated out of that only port 4 where you see it says uh, po is off that supported the ethernet uh, i mean the poe so here you can see here right now it support poe you can set to the pass through and you can enable it and you can save it so it will provide only passive poe as you can see ethernet pass through P poe and it will give any passive 24 volt if any device you want to power with the 24 volt you can use this uh, as a passive poe and you can check here uh, the routes here and uh, uh, if you want to set up as OSPF, as I said, uh, uh, this router has all type of features like you can set VPN, uh, firewall, NAT, services like you can see here, it's added the DSCP, DNS and triple POE. Even you can check on the VPN like the PT, PPTP remote access, IPsec side to side and even the WireGuard VPN. Even you can define the quality of services like the QoS like right now. The minimum upload and download rate you can set here and if you want to set the basic queue advanced queue it get all the options here and this is the config tree you will see here you can check the interface and everything what is using so now uh, what I'm going to show you that I should add these Azure OS to the Azure router to the USP because USP controller also run on the cloud and, and I'm running on the hostify like you can check out the USP on the hostify uh, we have a better plans or the cheaper plan also so here what I will do I will just get the USP key from the USP controller and then I will copy the USP key and then uh, I will show you. So this is my USP. I'm running on the hostify. As you can see here, it got the host name and 098 So to add the uh, UISP Airmax devices to the USP controller, what you need to do, you have to copy the USP key first. So as you can see, I'm using the Lightbeam 5 AC uh, Gen 2 on my USP controller. So what you need to do you have to go to the settings devices and there is a uisp key you have to copy this uisp key once you copy the uisp key you have to go to the uh, edge router uh, and then here you have to put the uisp key here and paste it uncheck and check here and you have to save the settings okay it's saved now we'll close this down and go back to here and click on the devices and we'll just wait for it to show up here we'll just refresh the screen so that you 
should show up right now so you can see here it shows under the pending adoption so i will just click here and i will assign to the side of most reliable so this is my uh, side i will just assign it here so you have seen that how easy the uisp devices you can adopt uh, from the local interface to the UISP so you can manage through the cloud so you will get all the options like you can check the overview the port all everything like the POE is on on this you can check the MAC address version power time CPU usage and the stats of the devices under the interface you can check all the interface and settings you can set for the routing DSCP service and from the manage you can check the speed test uh, which is connected uh, and you can generate a password show password you can even open the cli terminal so right now it's connected to my main network switch so you can see uh, the speed is around 500 mbps download and upload so it giving up to speed of around 470 480 download and let's see what upload speed it get so you can see that uh, they it is getting good speed on that so you can uh, get a password even you want to change the firmware version so you can just select the firmware version so i'm running on the beta version from here so this is also the azure outer light i have on my network i was using pf sense so i've changed the pf sense so to the azure outer light and it's working great and not getting any issues on it so after that what i'm going to show you that the configuration has been changed okay so right now uh, the switch zero interface is up and this edge router acting as a switch so i'm going to connect one of the unify devices right now this is the unify express i'm using as you can see here this is the unify express right now there is no internet as you can see here uh, it's turned off and i will power it on and i will connect the van port of the unify express to the as router eth1 port and see what ip does it pull so yeah i just connected that and let me check it is porting up right now i'll just make sure the eth site manager so you can see the unify express is offline because it's power on right now power off and i just power it on and it is porting at the moment yeah it's getting power on right now so this all the dashboard and traffic analysis you can check here you will get the like the inspection of the of your data and traffic analysis i'm waiting for the unify express to get power on so from here you can see the cpu's status ram and the uptime if you check the ubiquity website uh, store.ui.com they have all range of the ubiquity router you just need to change it from here unify to the usb and then you can look for wired devices so these are all the edge routers devices and they will still working rock solid now they have added a new lineup the usb router usb router pro switch pro let's say because the edge router is quite good as you can see here i have this one and it also has Azure Router X SFP. This is the cheapest router you can get from the UV, like $59. And you can check this router provides lots of features. Like it has a dual core 880 MHz CPU and the memory is 256 MB DDR3 RAM. And it's got the core storage of 256 MB NAND storage. You can see the interface here. POE interface also and you see that it got 24 passive POE and the maximum power consumption is 5 watt so this tiny router you can see it's provide lots of good features so yeah it's still boarding up inside the box you have 12 volt connect here so to even from here you can add a VLAN interface like any VLAN ID you want to pass you can just put that VLAN and go to the ETH0 or but you should choose the interface as switch zero which will so I will give the tests and I will save it so as soon as I save it you will see uh, it will pass the VLAN from switch 0 to 10 and it will give you the IP address of that VLAN network I will click on save so as you can see I have 
uh, sign the IP address uh, from the DSCP. So I'm getting the IP address from VLAN 10, which is 10.10.1.123. And if you go here in the site manager, and I will show you I have VLAN 10 configured here. So if you go to the network, you can check the VLAN 10 here, 10.10. So you can. So you right now on the switch 0 0.10 if i connect any uh i mean on that and i will tag that vlan it should get an ip from that ip address so let me confirm it's still boarding i'm not sure why this unified bus is taking too long to boot all right it is power on and it is passing an ip so i'll just go back to the site manager and you can see this uh, the unify express it's getting an ip from that vlan range of the i mean the switch zero interface which i have added this is just for testing purpose like i'm showing as a demo like you can create uh, the, the uh, act uh, i mean you can just make this as a router x as a switch so I will put down a link in the description of the guide. The it has a helpful guide. You can check that out. So right now you can see the Unify Express is getting a IP address in the WAN of the default of 192.160.0.1 and the WAN one uh, is 10 .0 which is getting from the Switch Zero interface. So also you can see uh, there are lots of uh, Ethernet, ETH0, and ETH1 interfaces. Uh, is showing up because right now on the ETH one I have a uh, Unify Express connected. So under the traffic analysis also you will get to know uh, what traffic has been used and everything like from your uh, for internet. And yeah, everything is connected, seems connected. So yeah, I think that's it for the today today's video. I hope you will like this video. I have a uh, Edge Router Lite 3. If you want to make, if you want a video on that topic, Edge Router, uh, how to add the Edge Router, what's the specs of the Edge Router, and everything, I will try to make a video on that. Okay, thanks uh, for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.